Good morning traders. This is Chris from Elite Currency with a new video on the euro dollar and pound dollar. All right, so the euro dollar is showing a bullish candle here, which many could see as a pin bar, a bullish pin bar here. Uh, it is probably a pin bar. Uh, there is a close near the high. There is a decent wick at the bottom. Definitely looks like a, a reversal weekly candle. That said, I still think the entire pattern is looking more bearish because if we put a fib from this bottom to this top, one second then we can see the price uh, still has some space to the 61.8 fib that's one thing second is that the hma is down and price is clearly below, below the 21 ema so i think that this is just maybe a retracement uh within the downtrend and more downside could continue let me zoom into a lower time frame on the daily chart because what we're looking at here was a wave four right that triangle broke to the downside so after the triangle broke i think we're looking at a wave one two and this could be a wave three uh whether this is the wave one two three for instance there could be a five wave pattern finish that's true now for me to become more bullish i would need to price i would need price to break above my 21 ema zone in that case that would change things so if we dive into the four hour chart to look at those uh, internal uh, swings a little bit better there we go you see that this particular swing the very last one it could be a wave five, but it doesn't look likely to be a wave five because the momentum is the strongest. So typically wave three has the strongest momentum, which is why I think that this is wave three or part of the wave three, right? For instance, this could be, uh, let's see, this could be up in here. There could be a wave one somewhere here. This is a wave two, this is a wave three, four, five. It's possible, but I think that this particular piece is probably the wave three rather than the wave five. So I'm leaning towards more the fact that this is a wave one, a two, and that this is a wave three with a clear wave five structure. Let me show you right here. One, two, three, four, five. This being wave one. Let me use orange for that. There we go. And this two. All right. And uh, that this could be a wave four. So if that is true, then this fib is important on the wave three. And price is right around that 38.2 fib, 50 fib zone. So if it breaks above 115, uh, then of course it would change things because in that case, it is not looking like a wave four anymore. If it breaks above this orange line, it would also uh, be breaking above these bottoms. In that case, in the long-term moving average on the hourly, four hour chart, in that case, of course, uh, something else is going on and we might be seeing a bigger reversal. In that case, we might have completed five waves. This could be wave one, two, three, four, five. Uh, for a wave A, and up it goes A, B, C for wave B, all right? And there could be a lot more upside to come. So if it breaks above these orange lines, then there's a good chance that it's going to do in five waves for wave A, one, two, three, four, five. Look for A, B, C back down. And then somewhere in here, put a fib from this bottom to this top, and somewhere around the 50, 61.8 fib, there's going to be a bounce probably. There's going to be bullish candlestick patterns for a five wave up, uh, all the way to, let's take a look. We'll put the five wave like this. Let's say uh, the price stops around 116. There we go. So price could go up to easily to 118 or 119, as you can see, according to these minus 272 targets. Uh, sorry, to the, to the fifth targets, minus 61.8 <clears throat> and the minus 100 target. All right, in that case, we'll have five waves up, three waves down, five waves up to these targets as a bigger ABC correction. If it bounces, however, before these orange lines right and we see maybe a little bit of retracement up but then we see price fall then i think it could go down towards 112 in the, in that case i think that's the main target all right 112.50 perhaps 112 something like that uh, i would be looking for price to stop soon looking at the hourly chart it does look like an abc correction could be finished all right so either here or at this target look for price to move back below the 21 ema you can use trend lines too like this and look for a breakout below these 21 EMAs for a continuation lower. It could also be that price breaks, makes a flag and then makes another break. That actually probably is even better than just the original breakout in fact, all right? Because there is a potential head and shoulders here. So like this, so you gotta be careful of about this level too. So from this perspective, maybe the breakout itself is not that great, but if you get a break, flag and then a break that would look a lot better i think from my perspective four hour candles pushing below the 21 ema 
would help as well, by the way, like this. And uh, But look for the breakout candle. Good bearish candle as well would help uh, to kind of uh, remove the threat of these bullish candles because that, of course, is indicating some bullish momentum. So I remain bearish. I'm just looking for confirmation signals of a break and pull back a continuation, either by using the 21 EMA on the 4-hour chart or the 1-hour chart or uh, candlestick patterns. But if it does break above 115, then it's probably a 5-wave pattern. In that case, it's not an ABC, but it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Look for ABC back down and look for that bounce up to 118, 119. Pound dollar, I think, is also looking like a wave 3, even maybe more so than the euro dollar. The momentum is very strong. And the 21 EMA has a very steep angle. A lot of candles below the 21 EMA. The HMA has stayed below the 21 EMA. So there are a lot of, you know, we have the red fractals, diamond fractals indicating that the ECS fractal indicators are red, flashing red for a long time, right? And the downtrend has indeed continued. And this is the acceleration of that. It looks like a wave three. So I would put the FIB probably from here to here. This could also be a wave four. Now, Pound has not even reached the 23.6 FIB. Euro dollar is moving up a lot more aggressively. That's because the Euro pound is moving up a lot. As you can see here, Euro pound is moving up uh, as we speak here, uh, or not right now, but uh, last week. So uh, this could still be a wave four. It's actually even more likely to be a wave four than the Euro dollar because it stays so passive, it's so choppy in its movement. So anywhere, 23, 38, 50 FIB could be bouncing spots. And there could be a continuation down to the minus 272 target. If we use a Fibonacci sequence level on this top and look for the targets by indicating sell like this, then you can see that we're below the fifth level. So fifth level could be a bouncing spot. And the target, main target is the sixth whiz level at around 125.65. Of course, it could extend a little bit as well to the, towards the minus 272 target. At 125 to 25, 125, of course, is also a round level. As long as it stays more or less below that fourth level, uh, that long to moving average, this bottom and the 50 fib, and this supply demand zone, then price should be in a wave four. As long as it doesn't hit the fourth whiz level, then that sixth whiz level is still a viable target. If it does hit the fourth whiz level, then it's not. And something else might be going on. Then there could be also a five wave pattern, for instance, that would totally change the perspective for me, uh, depending on how the patterns play out. We will reanalyze it again on Tuesday. But for the moment, I'm bearish unless it breaks through this fourth level, I, then I would have to review it and we'll have to re reanalyze it again from scratch. But otherwise, considering this momentum pulling away from the 21 MMA on the daily chart too, by the way, to me, it's looking like a wave three of some type, either a wave three of five or even the wave three of three. We'll have to see how far it goes. But uh, I would say there's a decent chance that it either it doesn't hit the 21 EMA on the daily chart, or if it does, it just kind of hits it and then bounces back away from it and continues lower. That's what I'm thinking at this moment, because I think that ultimately this is probably some type of uh, like a wave one, two, three, for instance. And uh, if it's not a wave three of a, of a wave three, four, five of a lower degree, it could even be a wave one, two, three, four, five of this degree. So there's a, just a, a very high probability that this is a wave four in my view, unless it breaks through that. Uh, let's see what was it level 129.42 level. Uh, then that would change things. All right, and last but not least, I forgot to mention. I was talking about so much about invalidation levels. I forgot to mention that what I'm looking for basically is for price to turn here. Um, break below the 21 EMA, preferably after hitting a FIB. I would like it to hit a 23.6 FIB, but it doesn't have to. Uh, it's getting close, though, I would say. Um, or breaking below the 21 EMA on the, on the hourly chart. All of that, I think, could indicate that this pattern, this kind of bear flag pattern is finished. So looking for a breakout, basically. Breakout here and a continuation lower uh, down to 125.65. All right, so there's some space here. There's about 130 pips, I guess, 140, 120, depending exactly where the breakout is. There could be a break, pullback, continuation, of course, as always. That's what I'm looking for. All right, that's it for now. More free material at EliteCurrency.com. Also, uh, more free analysis. Go to our blog. ECS Start is our free package. Wish you all great trading and talk to you soon. Cheers.